Hey guys, I just received a package of plants from dwarfshrimp.net, aka Bee Shrimp, on the Facebook group, USA Freshwater Shrimp and Plants. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and see what was sent. So this is an amazing package I got here. I got the sponge filter, I got the hollow wood, bless you. <laughs> I've got some water lettuce, actually a lot of water lettuce, and then I have some unknown plants. I've never seen these before or heard of them, so if you guys can ID these for me, I would really appreciate it. I don't know what this is, but this looks different than the other three bags. So there's that first plant, and then here's the second one here. And then this is the third one. So yeah, this is just so amazing. This is more than I could have ever expected. Thank you, thank you so much. So a lot has happened since I introduced the Royal Blues into the tank. They are really, really cute. I just fed them some powdered food so that I can lure them out to take a look. And they all have the orange eyes, which is pretty nice um, on these. It's a nice contrast to their dark blue um, shell. And um, yeah, like I said, so much has happened in the tank. I've got babies. I had three deaths in the last two days, which is crazy. I don't know what caused it. I think it was um, some pesticide that accidentally got into the tank and killed three of my shrimp, but I did a 50% water change. Actually, I did a lot of smaller 25% water changes over like the past week, and then I did a... 50% water change last night to kind of help with that and since then I haven't had any losses at all. The babies are still pr really active and swimming around. The Royal Blues are active and swimming around. That's Big Mama right there. Um, let's see. Oh, I've got a little buried female over here. She's just cleaning her eggs right now or readjusting them. She's a really small juvenile. She, as you can see, she's about half the size as Mama, but she's getting bigger. She has a really small batch of eggs, and we'll see if she keeps them <laughs> her first time around. That last buried female I had dropped her eggs the first day, and then she died. So I have been really diligently monitoring my tank for the past couple of days because of the losses I've had. Um, I only did the one 50% water change um, that other day, and I haven't done one since because, I mean, the parameters are fine. Everything's at zero. Um, TDS is right on point. It's at about 200. <clears throat> I don't know what else I can do. But I don't think I've had any more losses in the tank. I did count only five rural blues this morning when... I had fed them last and I don't know if that's because the other two are just really good at hiding because I mean look at all this moss right Remy we can't do the snuggle time right now I'm trying to film you know I always notice there is a royal blue on the filter this guy's always eating from the filter here's another one He blends right in to the styrofoam wall. I don't know if you can see him. He's crawling his way down. How cute. I wonder if they're too small to sex. I can't really tell if they're male or female right now. This one looks like it's got more of a curved underbelly than the other one. Maybe the left one is female and the right one is male. <sighs> Who knows? Look how cute he is. Oh, look, there's a little baby. He's swimming. The babies have been a lot more active lately. They're starting to go around and explore the tank. I'm noticing that they're swimming around a lot more and they're out on the subshay a lot more instead of just the java moss. <laughs> It's 
see what else is going on I moved all my water sprite to the sides of the tank so that I could see the tank a lot better and my mama my new mama I don't know where she is um she's still got her eggs so she's doing good got a little baby right there look at him on the java moss how cute and everything else is pretty much doing fine all the other plants are great Look at this guy on the sword. The sword's doing really well. I haven't had to trim this down too much. Um, my Anubias looks so good. Like, out of all my plants, I love this thing the most because I killed the first three I got. And this is the only one that's done well. And it just looks amazing and has been growing like crazy since I put it in the tank. I love it. I also added some of this plant over here in this corner and I'm not really sure what it is I'm not sure how to pronounce it it looks like sub or something and it just looks like a big pile of mossy goodness I did rip out the um, water sprite in the back so it was just getting way out of control and there was not enough room in the tank for it even after trimming it down on a weekly basis it was just growing too long so I took that out the only problem is when I took it out the roots were completely <clears throat> attached to the substrate underneath so when I pulled it out it pulled out a huge ball of substrate and that quickly fell back down and I'm not sure if it buried any shrimp I really hope not but it was too cloudy to see and <clears throat> for some reason some of the water lettuce leaves are like shriveling up and I don't know what's going on with that like this one here got a couple more back here that are kind of shrivelly so I've been trying to turn them around and making sure that they're wet but I'm not really sure why they're shriveling up like that they look just they just look dehydrated but they're in the water. That is no, that is not okay. That is not okay. Well, I was not expecting him to grab one of those and make off with it. So yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on with my tank recently. Thank you so much, Bee Shrimp, for sending me all of those amazing goodies. And make sure you guys check out dwarfshrimp.net. It's a great little forum for all you shrimp lovers out there. And yeah, if you guys enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for watching. Look at this little troublemaker. It's back for more.